Hi, welcome back to Free Science Lessons. This is the second part of a two-part video on calculating the standard enthalpy change of combustion. In the last video, we saw the experimental method and how to carry out the calculation. And if you haven't seen that video, then I'd recommend that you watch it now. In this video, I'm going to give you two questions to try yourself. Here's the first question. Methanol was combusted in a spirit burner. The thermal energy released was used to heat water in a calorimeter. The mass of water in the calorimeter was 300 grams. The temperature of the water increased by 31.5 degrees Celsius. The mass of methanol combusted was 2.65 grams. Calculate the standard enthalpy change of combustion of methanol. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, first we need to calculate the thermal energy that transferred into the water. And to do that, we use this equation. Q equals mc delta t. Q is the energy change of the water in joules. M is the mass of water in the calorimeter in grams. And delta t is the temperature change of the water in degrees Celsius. C is the specific capacity of water. This has the value of 4.18 joules per gram per Kelvin. And remember that for the purposes of this equation, we treat degrees Celsius the same as Kelvin. Putting our numbers into the equation gives us a value of 39,501 joules for the thermal energy transferred into the water. Dividing this by 1,000 gives us a value of 39.501 kilojoules. To determine the standard enthalpy change of combustion, we need to divide this by the number of moles of methanol that was combusted. 2.65 grams of methanol were combusted. The molar mass of methanol is 32.0 grams per mole. Dividing the mass by the molar mass tells us that 0.0828 moles of methanol were combusted. To calculate the standard enthalpy change of combustion, we divide the thermal energy by the number of moles. Dividing 39.501 kilojoules by 0.0828 moles gives us a value of 477.1 kilojoules per mole for the standard enthalpy change of combustion of methanol. Remember that this reaction is exothermic, so we need to give this a negative sign. Now, this is a lot less than the published value, and we saw possible reasons for that in the last video. Here's another question for you. Pentan 1-ol was combusted in a spirit burner. The thermal energy released was used to heat water in a calorimeter. The mass of water in the calorimeter was 500 grams. The temperature of the water increased by 28.0 degrees Celsius. The mass of pentan 1-ol combusted was 3.75 grams. Calculate the standard enthalpy change of combustion of pentan 1-ol. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, first we need to calculate the thermal energy that transferred into the water. To do that, we use the equation Q equals mc delta t. Putting our numbers into the equation gives us a value of 58,520 joules. Dividing this by 1,000 gives us a value of 58.520 kilojoules. To determine the standard enthalpy change of combustion, we need to divide this by the number of moles of pentan 1-ol that was combusted. 3.75 grams of pentan 1-ol were combusted. The molar mass of pentan 1-ol is 88.0 grams per mole. Dividing the mass by the molar mass tells us that 0.0426 moles of pentan 1-ol were combusted. To calculate the standard enthalpy change of combustion, we divide the thermal energy by the number of moles. Dividing 58.520 kilojoules by 0.0426 moles gives us a value of 1,373.7 kilojoules per mole for the standard enthalpy change of combustion of pentan 1-ol. And remember that this reaction is exothermic, so we need to give this a negative sign. OK, so hopefully now you can calculate the standard enthalpy change of combustion. 